We got Birmingham sure. We got Liverpool sure. I don't know. You just throw sure at the end of everything. You can make a county. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Christian Girl Autumn. My name is Evan Edinger, and a couple weeks ago, I made a video about American stereotypes. Which ones of them are true? Are they accurate? And you guys sure had a lot to say about that. Also, this video is sponsored by a podcast I was in recently. You'll hear more about that in the middle of the video. But you learn that the US never lost a war, despite the fact that Canada, while still under British control, burnt down your legislative buildings in 1812. That is also, yes, very wild. But we didn't learn that the US lost any wars. I remember explicitly learning that for Vietnam, it just was kind of like, ah, it, the US was protesting and we didn't feel like it was really worth it over there, so we just stopped. I genuinely was taught we didn't lose the Vietnam War, we just decided it wasn't worth it anymore and gave up. That is losing. It, it is lose, but it's weird because it goes against this religious belief that the US cannot lose and is the best. And so I guess, therefore, we can't teach to our children that, you know, you lose the Vietnam War or the War of 1812. We're just taught like, yeah, that was just something, but you know, don't worry about it. I have no problem with Americans claiming Irish heritage, but for the love of all that is holy, if you're going to celebrate St. Patrick's Day, please, 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 at least get the name correct. It is St. Patty's Day, not St. Patty's Day. Even typing that made me die a little inside. I don't understand why this is a stereotype that Americans pronounce it incorrectly, only because if you know the American language of American English, you know that we don't pronounce our T's as heavily as our D's. So instead of saying like a chicken patty, even there I just said it, a chicken patty. I don't say chicken patty, I say a chicken patty. And that's with all words with double T's mostly. Like I was I was gonna say titties, but also, yeah, titties. You don't say titties like, hello, woman, can I get some titties? You say, hey, woman, can I get them titties? So it's weird to me, I'm so sorry. It's weird to me that the word that has two T's that Americans love pronouncing as D's mispronounce as patties instead of patties. But hey, if you didn't know it's supposed to be pronounced that way, there you go, Americans. Hope that helped out. It's just weird, because I feel like you're going out of your way in your natural dialect to mispronounce it, so. Interest. Actual Irish person here. No one cares if Americans are proud of their Irish heritage, but we just can't stand when they act like they're part of our current culture and society. I definitely understand where you're coming from on this. Our country has changed radically over the past 25 years or so, so as a result, even adult, first-generation Irish Americans have a limited understanding about our country unless they are constantly coming here over the summer or something. I think it's the speaking on behalf of us that irritates people not expressing excitement about our common heritage. I could be wrong, but for example, it seems like Irish Americans lean a lot more turns towards concern conservatives, I would actually disagree towards that. I would say that it's a pretty even split just from my personal seeing of this stuff. But I think it's unfair on us, the massive shifts towards being socially liberal, which is driven by increased wealth and living standards, educated, and a general movement away from strictly following the Catholic Church. Uh, mostly younger and mid-aged people are atheist, agnostic, or even leaning towards spirituality. And that goes completely unnoticed because Hollywood and Irish Americans still push the simple old Patty, who is madly religious and likes to drink. We appreciate what Irish Americans have done for Ireland, but as a community, could you please get to know the motherland better instead of still making it out like it's the 1950s here? That is a really long comment, but I felt like it was such a strongly written and well-written comment. I felt the need to share that. It was so articulate, and I really understand what you're trying to say with this. It's less the whole, oh, we're Irish and we're really happy, and more like, I'm Irish and I disagree, when you're not actually Irish. Uh, and I think that is basically what you're saying when you're saying you don't like that you're being spoken for. It'd kind of be like if I decided to say, oh, I'm German and I don't actually think that the US is doing much wrong. I'm not German. Hypothetically, my German heritage exists from like the 1600s, but I can't just say I'm German because my ancestors were German and therefore say, as a German, I could say as a German American, and I think maybe that is the case here. If you are Irish or of some other descent in the US, you could say you're Irish American or German American or American American. Those are Native Americans. I love watching the dust particles flying through the air. A uh, thank you. That was just because the sun was streaming into my bedroom. I was concerned that it was going to affect the way that it looked, but in anything, it just made me look backlit AF. That was Honestly, wild. I try and film like that now forever, especially because my camera can handle such incredible dynamic range with the way that I'm shooting now. It will look nice. I tried that for the last couple of videos, but the sun has not been on my side. Why do they keep calling me? How do you say I did not kill her, officer? I can bring it for more uh, officer. What have I come into? I am innocent, officer. All right. 
You ever try to join a game of Among Us and it turns out you're just helping a crime syndicate from the Netherlands? <laughs> Americans think they invented everything. Case in point, the first ever car by Henry Ford. When I said that, I was referring to Henry Ford's first ever car. And I wasn't even referring to his first ever car. I was referring to the first ever car that he mass produced in a way that was really successful, the Model T. I don't know why, but for some reason, the Model T is the like old car that I can think of when I think about like the oldest car possible. Probably because yes, we were taught that Henry Ford invented the car. Sorry. The fork has a curvature to scoop. Yes, I did say this. It also literally has prongs for prodding. So your point is, I'm saying that, I don't know if you know this, but when you hold a fork, the normal way with the scoop down, you can still prod and then scoop up with it. It's like a win-win. Why would you turn it upside down, you sillies? Come on. Americans are just like, I'm Irish, but haven't ever heard of the troubles. You know what? This is one of those that is uh, very true and relatable for me because I had never heard of the troubles. I don't know what they mean. I'm just cracking a couple jokes at the YouTube headquarters way back when I first moved here. And there was an employee there. Her name was like Hazel Highs or something like that. And oh boy. Oh boy, did I accidentally step on a few toes about the troubles. I was never taught about them, okay? I, I do apologize. You're not taught about that at all, so. Oops. As a Brit, I actually know 40 of the 50 states, and if someone got angry at me for not knowing all of them, I'd ask if they can list the 48 English counties, and as I'm partly Canadian, the 10 Canadian provinces and three territories. I couldn't even do that for like three. I know there's no Ontario. I think there's one called Northwest Territory. And also, I wanna say, British Columbia, that's three. Newfoundland, does that count? I, I got three, four, okay? Give me some Canadian points. I actually know way more about the UK, but I do live in the UK. Okay, we got Surrey, we got Norfolk, we got London, we got Cornwall, we got Lincolnshire, we got Birminghamshire, we got Liverpoolshire. I don't know, you just throw shirt at the end of everything, you can make a count. Nothing to do with the video, but you've inspired me to look into studying in the UK and Ireland. You've also opened my eyes to a lot of weird ass stuff to really start thinking critically about our culture as Americans. That's good. And I've never realized exactly how strange we look to the rest of the world until then really. So I just wanted to say thank you for making these videos and also your new setup looks great. Thank you. I appreciate all the compliments on the setup. And also I'm glad I was able to hopefully just start you on your journey of just reading up a bit more about other places and I don't know, just looking into other stuff. That's very nice. Thank you for the comment, Rachel. I appreciate it. Man, that. it really has gotten so dark. It is sad. It is 6.49 PM. Should not be this dark. And actually, like I said, today's video is sponsored by a podcast I was on recently for Rosetta Stone. If you've ever seen Countdown, I was actually on the podcast with Susie Dent, lovely, really cool person, knows a huge amount of languages. We were just riffing back and forth, talking about language learning in general, what we like about learning languages, and about the culture of it, and how like you can't really learn a language without learning more about the culture. I really had a fun time. I'm actually really enjoyed being on podcasts recently, because it makes me feel like, weirdly, more of an adult, but I'd highly recommend please, because uh, I think it's really cool. Also, my setup was really nice. I was really proud of it. But if you're a fan of listening to podcasts on interesting topics, I do highly recommend you check it out by clicking the link in the description. And yeah, give it a listen. Tell me what you think. I thought it was pretty fun. Also, if you do watch it, tell me if you notice the part where I blush a bit when I realized that everyone involved in the podcast had watched a couple of my videos and they were so nice about it. I was just, ah, oh, I was a bit, I was a bit blushy. But yeah, thank you to the Rosetta Stone podcast for sponsoring this video. And without further ado, my microphone! In AP World History, because there's a dedicated AP European History course and exam, you do actually learn some bits of world history. The main focus for us was actually Chinese history. There seemed to be an obsession at the college board. We also learned bits about Japan, Central Asia, and Sub-Saharan Africa in detail, plus random things about all over. Well, here's the thing about AP World History. It's not a mandatory course in the slightest. It's actually the opposite of that. It's only a course that you take if you really, really want to. All AP courses are the advanced placement, if you're not from the US. Basically mean that if you pass it and pass the exam at the end, you get college credit for any college you want to go to after high school, which is really great. But therefore, not many people take AP, at least where I'm from, it was like only the like top of the classes really take a couple AP courses. Most people just kind of pass by not doing any at all. So the fact that it's like, oh, you want to learn about world history? You've got to take the hardest course possible. Why not just have that start in middle school or elementary school or even high school, but just have it be mandatory and not be an AP course. How about just a accessible world history? Not necessarily the hardest course you'll ever take in history history. Is it a stereotype that Jersey sucks or does it actually suck? It's neither a stereotype nor does it actually suck. It's more just like a running gag or running joke, especially because a lot of Hollywood writers are from New York and New Yorkers really hate people from New Jersey because they commute across the people from North Jersey. 
people from South Jersey. We also hate people from North Jersey because they're from the North. They think it's called Taylor ham when it's called pork roll. Really silly stuff like that, that they should just know better. But from. does Jersey suck? No, we actually hate everyone that's not from New Jersey. So if anything, just leave us alone. We'll be happy. I will always sing praises for New Jersey. I do feel like I could probably make an entire video about how much I enjoy New Jersey culture. Just don't know how much you guys would actually care about it, but I think it would be fun. I totally agree with the friendly stereotype. Went into Poundland and an American guy was working there and instantly went, I love your hair. I'm used to people just staring at me and giving me weird looks, so it was a nice surprise. Oh, see, that's nice. We finally had one positive stereotype and it was reaffirmed by Siniads, Cynthia. I know there's some like letters in Ireland. I've, I've done this video. I should know how to pronounce Shauna. Is that it? Thanks for the comment. And thanks for subscribing, actually. I appreciate that little, little, little tick there. Thank you. Now the real question is, do you have a new lamp? Yes, Kevin is fixed. Let me just get out of the shot. Focus on Kevin, camera. Focus, focus on Kevin. Focus on, focus on. He just sees my face. I'm sorry, the, the autofocus is too strong. But yeah, Kevin's doing fine back there. He's very healthy now. I got a new bulb, got a new bottom. Got a new bottom, I don't wanna stop the, well. There's no such thing as a center is true for Germany too. There's a north, a south, an east, and a west, but no middle. Excuse me, what about Bochum? All right, justice for Bochum. Can't believe this. They didn't make all that coal for you for nothing. Just weird German cultural facts, I guess. Welcome to my channel. Meanwhile, New Zealand teaches as much slash more US history in high schools as New Zealand history. What? Spent an entire year studying the Cold War in my class. The government only made it compulsory to teach New Zealand history in schools last year. Many of my friends don't know basic parts of our history, like the fact that we have a Declaration of Independence, and I didn't know until my late teens, and I'm still learning. Whoa! Thank you for this comment. This is why I love community videos. I did not expect to find out that New Zealand learns a lot about US history. You're probably like the most favorite of all tourists then. Americans be like, do you know all the states? And you're like, yes I do. I'm from New Zealand. Would you like to see my dick? Go out on my dick? My favorite color's red. I'm from New Zealand. I'm a Kiwi. There's a reason I don't do <laughs> accent videos on this channel. <laughs> Referring to S-log as slog is my new favorite thing. Thank you. I find that there's no reason not to pronounce pronounceable words like S-log, which stands for Sony log. That's the gamma I'm currently using. S-log three. Slog three sounds much better. Like why say M-O-T if you can say mot, all right? I'm just saying, I'm coming up with all these good ideas. You guys better be writing this stuff down. The new camera's looking good, very sharp. Thank you. Uh, the recycling one throws me. I was so shocked when I stayed in California that I had to put all my rubbish in the same place. I thought that if one state was gonna recycle, it'd be California. I felt so bad not being able to recycle while I was there. That is wild, because of all the states that I would think as an American, it would be like Washington state, probably Oregon and California, basically all the West Coast. Very liberal, very green. But the fact that you've seen that, that makes me really sad. But there is a way we can change this, folks. If you wanna change this stereotype, you just have to work against it. You know, try and recycle more. Try talking about recycling more to your friends. Stop, get help. Throw your plastics in the recycle bin. While I've always personally cared about recycling in my own home, when I was in high school, I worked at AMC theaters. We had bins that were marked recycle and trash, and we would be told to put them all in the trash at the end of the night, so stupid. This is what I, it's just ridiculous. This should be against the law. You should not be able to, as a company, pretend to be recycling only to not do that. There should be some like overarching board that makes sure that companies aren't skirting the green laws like that. Cause that's just disgusting. I I wouldn't really put it past AMC to be honest. I actually noticed the difference in the lighting and I'm loving it. Thank you, appreciate it. I try really hard. OMD, oh my Delilah. Never heard of switching hands. That's so weird Americans normally like to be efficient. Short words, straight to the point, automatic cars. Most people's hands are strong enough to do it so it's weird that you switch. We try, we try to be ableist with your hands, all right? Just because I got a weak left hand doesn't mean you gotta shame me for it. I totally agree with hacking with a fork. Knives are unnecessary unless you're having a proper meal. Thank you. You brought it back, I'm on your side again. If you're someone that really thinks you need a knife for every meal, I will never forgive you. <laughs> we bring in the puns back. Well, thank you for subscribing to my channel. I do very much appreciate it. Joining the community, all these comments, very lovely. I hope to see you guys on the next one. Keeping this one short, I'll see you then. Goodbye.